With this inequality, we're given 9y plus 2 times the sum of y plus 6 is greater than 5y minus 24. And again, this is the steps are exactly the same as if we were solving an equation. The only difference is that if we multiply or divide either side by a negative value, we're going to reverse the, the direction of the inequality symbol. So first off on the left hand side we will distribute the 2 so 9y plus 2y plus 12 is greater than 5y minus 24 combining like terms we get 11y plus 12 is greater than 5y minus 24 we'll subtract 5y from both sides to get the variable terms on the left by themselves so 11y minus 5y is 6y plus 12 is greater than negative 24. Subtract 12 from both sides. We get 6y is greater than negative 36. Divide both sides by 6. And we get y is greater than negative 6. Now notice in this case that, uh, that we didn't change the direction of the inequality symbol. And the reason for that is because we didn't divide or multiply both sides by a negative value. We divided both sides by 6, which is positive. It just so happens that the value on the right was already negative, but we don't change the direction of the sign uh, of the inequality symbol unless we're doing the, the same thing to both sides in dividing both sides by a negative value or multiplying both sides by a negative value. So again, we'll set up our number line. We're starting at y equals negative 6. It's non-inclusive because it's y is greater than negative 6. So we can use either a parenthesis or an open circle. I'll go ahead and use a parenthesis this time. And it's greater than this, so we're going to the right. Sorry, my hand slipped a little bit there. So again, y is greater than negative 6. And then in interval notation... We're starting at negative 6, and we're going to the right infinitely. So that would be negative 6 with a parenthesis, comma, infinity.